I don't know what the athlete football is. You got, um, I, you see that? And Hold I, on. Oh. You got grass in there. You see that? Wait. I, I ain't got no tweezers, but you don't have to get that grass out. I'm going to pull it out after. Let me see your elbow. You don't think you can what? Like football. Okay. Are you ready for me to pour it? Yeah. Just pour wait, it, right? Wait, wait. And, it's going to hurt. It's going to burn. <laughs> But you don't want to get it infected. Turn your head. Don't look. Ooh. I ain't even did nothing yet. You got to clean it. Is it burning? Mm -mm. Got any more on that hand? Mm -mm. Okay, give me the other one. That's it on the hand? Yeah. Oh, shit. Happy Fourth of July, darling. Thank you for the food. It's dirty chicken water. I'm about to throw this in some water and some vinegar. It's so good. Ain't good yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just pour about the same amount on there. Oh, it's down here to add the water. I do lukewarm water. It ain't too cold, but. Ooh! That looks good, man. Oh, my shit, yeah. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my like, that kind of like get me excited because like yo you know what y'all yeah. yeah, don't mind him i think it's been soaked by the hour now um that's good enough see it got pimples all on it that um that vinegar gonna get it right let's see if i can bust this pimple or is that a blood vessel Get out of there. Get a knife or some tweezers. It's hard. You have to use both fingers. It's like you busting a real pimple to get the majority of it out. Ooh, look at that. Pimple popping one on one. Look at that. Ew. All right. All this is vinegar water. Oh. Let's do one more time. Let me do a little bit of water. Of course, I'm going to put the camera down and get my hands in here and flip it around just in case it's some loose chicken or loose skin at the bottom and little, see the little floaty thingies, the black pimples and all that skin getting out of here. I have to rinse it for a couple of times. You're never going to get it perfect, but you can get it darn near perfect. And I know some people have issues with people cleaning or seasoning their chicken in the sink. If you're sterilizing your sink, cleaning it with not only dish detergent or with bleach or vinegar and baking soda before you put the chicken in the sink, I don't see any problem with it. Now, if you're just throwing chicken in a dirty sink, whether it looks clean or not, um, I mean, I, still, I don't care because I ain't got to eat it. But I season my chicken in the sink as well because I need it spaced out and I need it seasoned evenly. You could do that in a bowl, but you gotta put your hand in it a lot and keep doing this, flipping and making sure it's coated evenly. And it may not be. That was just what you lit. One of the things you did? No, that wasn't loud enough because that would have shook the whole building. 
I know, I heard it. But not the one Q and Omar let us. Wow. I just bust the um, temple on a piece of chicken line and missed it. <laughs> you don't want to eat it, you say? So I'm on bruised up. Blood vessels burst it. Yeah, you know you gotta be careful with these. They're like poppers, but these are louder and they smoke. That's how many packs left? Um, I don't know. Well, I only do one roll though. So y'all gonna y'all ain't gonna have no more fireworks by the time night time hit. And it looks like it's like rain. Like it does every Fourth of July. The chicken is already raw. That's going in there. So no, I don't need to get soap and all that. It just works in and out when I want it. I like to raw chicken back in. Brown sugar, y'all. I wanted the regular one, not the splendor one. I'm gonna put a little bit in here. I'm trying shit for the first time. Excuse me, so trying stuff. Um, I seen Pete McIntyre do this, so but, um, I got all of my seasonings here. My complete slap your mama sazon and everything else. I'm gonna put in here as well. Lonnie, open this. Great value mustard. Um, Peach used, she said Dijon, but she said she probably wasn't pronouncing it right. So I don't know if it's Grey Poupon, Dijon, DiGiorno is not delivery. I don't know what kind of mustard she had. But I've used mustard on my chicken and ribs before. And again, it's not going to taste like mustard. Um, this is just, what do they call it? The brand? The something. It's two B words that I get mixed up. So I'm going to mix that all up. I know you lying. That's but your girl got her back up. Okay. Sazon. Goya. This was Badia. Abadia. Sazon. Empty. Really? Okay, I'm going to put all my seasonings on here. I don't have to show y'all every um clip of that. Lonnie over there trying to do an Instagram boomerang. I only got a little bit of complete seasoning. It is not complete, honey. But I'm finna season my chicken in the sink and I'm gonna put it all in here with this in a minute okay somebody put me on to this I was like this don't look like nothing but parsley flakes or you know what what's the other one I can't think right now but that's basically what it looked like but I cooked it with my pork chop I mean it wasn't nothing to gossip about but I was like, okay. I didn't think it would taste like anything. Because, it, like I said, it just looked like chives or parsley flakes. That's the other one I was thinking about. But more like parsley flakes or something. You know, but I guess. So, I'm putting some Italian seasoning on there, too. I can't get that last crumb out from my complete seasoning. I mean, I can pop the little white thing off like this and get it out. Grind it up if I really wanted to. And I don't have much of slap them on it either, so... I'm going to, um, yeah, this just going to be literally a dash. Go ahead and use that, which ain't going to make a difference. I can throw these half empty things away. All my penny poultry um, seasoning. Do y'all use this? Because y'all know we find so many of these for a penny or when they go to 25 cent because they go to 25 cent with the Christmas items. Um, the Clover Valley from Dollar General. Poultry. You know, that's any kind of bird, pigeon, um, ostrich, cockadoodle doo, and it's barely coming out. It's like a fine powder, you know. But don't ask me how it tastes because I just added it now, and I don't know. Sometimes you can't even taste these seasonings. Ooh, falling on twenty percent. Everything is also clumped up. Salt. 
It's a lot of chicken, so that wasn't a lot of salt. Of course, I'm just being extra putting rubbed sage on here. All right. <laughs> Not yet. I'm gonna let you help mommy a little later because I'm rushing with this stuff, so. No, now you do five words, but five is getting tough. Okay, now I'm going to open the side on. Sorry, you know how to open it? Yeah. How you open it? Easy. Here you go. You did do it. Thank you. Here. Big girl. Yeah, I did it. Yes, you did. You're such a big girl. Yes. Okay, Ooh, why my camera looking like that? Okay. She opened the sazon for your girl. Ooh, I'm making deviled eggs now. I'm not making deviled eggs, uh, but you know what? I should, since so she just said that. They real good. Yeah. I really should. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put one more of the sazon. Good Lord. Huh. Get it. Please. Sprinkle it all over. Everywhere. You got it all? Yeah. Okay, you gonna get that one piece that got all that salt on it too. Yes. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> but good thing I'm gonna be mixing everything <laughs> up here. Yeah. I'm to open it just like I did the Kool Aid pack. Oh, just bitch. Make sure I got everything out. Mm. This has all stains like Kool Aid, too. But this cheese is so well. Throw that away. Hmm? This cheese is so well. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The chicken's so yellow. Yeah. So, cut this. Okay. Uh oh. I'm going to hit you in the forehead with my elbow. Um, I'm going to mix this up. Ooh. More mixing. Real quick. Ooh. See the first coat got like a ton it. of seasoning. But I promise you it's not once you go to mixing it because you got the back of the chicken. <laughs> and that was all on the front of the chicken. This girl is so goofy. Mm. And I don't mean gloves. My hands are clean and I'm gonna clean them again after touching this raw meat thoroughly. I'm cooking for myself and my family, not yours. I didn't check the rest for pimples, though. But oh well. We're going to be I eating like those pimples. pimples, too, I guess. Okay. Move that top, Sarah. Okay. Ooh, my wife put it in there. You want to put it in there? Yeah. No, it's raw. I can't let you do that. It's raw chicken. It's raw chicken? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some brown sugar. Ooh, I dropped it in the Okay, y'all, let me put the camera down so I can move a little bit faster. Try. Okay, Is this it? Is this it? Okay, it's just it up here. Give us a way to help. Okay. Try. 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 If you want to do it, let her do it. She didn't realize it's hot and it's thick. Alright, let's just throw our chicken down in that drain. Put your chicken in. So now I think I'm going to add the Worcestershire sauce, or what I call the Worcestershire sauce. 
Um, I've never ever cooked with that, so we're gonna see. I just stop the camera. Let me clarify. I'm about to wash my hands with my 49 cent Ross Christmas soap. Now y'all don't see that in between and just assume people not washing their hands. But I can't do it with one hand. Okay. It smells so good. It smells like peppermint. 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 Okay. And of course, I had Heinz mustard and didn't even know it. Oh, well, it don't matter. Okay, he got a penny Worcestershire sauce. Do I just dump it in there with my seasoning? Because I normally put a little oil in there sometimes um, on top of my chicken so the seasoning will stick. I'll start with that first before I put this. And I literally only got a drop of everything. How is that possible? I don't know. I, I get my sesame seed oil and grape seed oil. It is expensive, but it's the best, healthiest oil. Okay. Um, I'm going to figure out how to... What I'm going to do with this Worcestershire sauce, if I'm even going to add it. Okay, we got it open. So is it basically soy sauce? Because I just tasted it. I thought it was expired, but we're in 2024. It doesn't expire to 2025. Okay, so I'm just pouring y'all, but that's all I'm gonna add because I don't know. I don't need it too salty and all that stuff. It's first time cooking with Worcestershire or oh, Worcestershire sauce, but I am gonna add a little bit more of this Italian seasoning and then add some oil in here. See what the height really bad. Y'all yeah, know I normally put sea salt on everything, but I got enough seasoning, so I'm not doing that. Can't find any more of my fancy oil, so I'm just gonna drizzle. Hopefully, I don't pour. I'm being very careful. I'm gonna mix this up. Okay. Vegetable oil, great to value. And yes, it is indeed. I even got my pink Himalayan that I have to grind up. And then just dig in. And mix. And in. And the only reason I'm doing it in this bowl now, yes, I season in the sink all the time. But I'm doing it so the flavors can stay on the chicken and not go down the drain. Since I got the oil and everything on there, I don't need the oil going down the drain either. So that's not good. And then since it's raining now, which I didn't really feel like putting nothing on the grill anyway, but I was going to bake it a little bit and then put it on the grill. But um, it's raining, so can't do that now. But Jack kept saying all day, it looks like it's about to rain. I'm about to throw this in the oven and y'all will see the whole process. Okay, I think I'm about to put um, aluminum foil in my pan. Not that it's going to keep it clean. It's going to go probably on the outside. But yeah, can you pass me the aluminum foil, please? I know you're unloading the dishwasher, but pass it right here by you. Thank you, your son. Appreciate you. The aluminum foil, not the aluminum pan. Oh, Lord, they tested my patience. Patience? What's that? Something I don't have. Um, Alani, rip that off. As long as this pan. Pull it. Pull it? I want to pull it. Okay, y'all hit them trying me, right? Keep pulling. That's not long enough. I, I need it longer than the pan. I don't know what longer it is. And so like you think that's real funny, right? Uh, You're going to find out what hungry means, too. <laughs> I don't know what hungry That better be longer than this pan. I don't know what pan means. Yeah. Okay, so I got my oven on 375, and I finna put my chicken, line it up. You know what? I think I'm gonna put all my flats on one side. I'm gonna probably need two pans, 
Um, we'll see. Uh -oh. I'm going to do this. And once it's full, we'll go back and see where we go from there. Move, sir. Come open the oven for me, sorry. So, I got it packed as much as I can. I'm not going to cover it. And again, I got three set in the pack. I wish I would tell me to throw away my rusted pan. I'm just gonna cover it with tin foil. I'm still using my pan. And y'all know I got new ones. Leave me alone. Flip them. Y'all didn't see that on the last clip. So I did it off camera. Like, and that's how I did my big wings as well. Flip them the opposite ways. Do y'all like drums better or flats? Alana, you like drums or flats better? Flats. Q, what you like better? Drums or flats? Drums. Drums? I feel like, I don't know. It's more meat on the drawings, I feel like. But it's probably about the same, and that's just our imagination. I don't know. You like flat, Soleil? Yes. Yeah, I like drums. you like drums? I knew you was going to mock your brother. Since you're the closest. I love it, but I, I think it's more meat on drums. I don't know. I don't really like drums because the top of it would be kind of harder. And then, of course, I'm going to put um, some in the middle. And it looked like it's full, but I promise you, do like this. Scooch. And it'll be a lot more room. Look at that. They're tiny, so they can fit. See how this roll right here looks full? I'm going to just scooch it on down. I probably can fit two more. Um, I see any more drums. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I guess I'll be frying the rest of these. Yeah, because I'm going to get another pan just for those. Okay, I probably should have put this rake in the middle, but it's okay. Thank you. And there. I gotta do this with my hand. Well, of course it was gonna be with my hand, but I meant both hands. All right. Okay. These all days I got left seven, so it'll be 14 double eggs. I don't have regular salt, so I am putting sea salt in here. It says to help them boil and peel well. And of course I will peel it under cold water. I don't need to get ice and all that extra stuff. And I honestly don't even time it. I just estimate i probably done boiled eggs for 15 minutes before and i probably done boiled them for 25 and 30 but they're always done and never overcooked okay i probably don't really care about this part but i'm gonna little flour in there and it should be enough because you don't toss and turn it anyway i got my grease heating up already on my stove yeah my chicken down in here with this season and oil and sauce and sometimes I do it in flour then dip it in the egg and then put it back in the flour like we used to do at Popeye's sometimes I just do flour I know that look like too much chicken ratio to the um, flour but it's not I can get down in there I need kind of both hands though to kind of hold the bowl while I do it. So I am going to sprinkle some more flour on it because it's like batter right now, which is fine, but I'm going to sprinkle some on the top. Like that, like so. 
And it's okay with the batter. Like I said, this is how it would look if I dipped it in flour and egg. It would look just like this. And that's because the chicken is wet with the Worcestershire sauce and the oil and all that other stuff on it. the remaining off. All right, I'm sick and tired of now. Um, do I need this for anything else? No, this is what the raw chicken is. Really. On this great 4th of July, I gotta start celebrating and cooking on June 10th. You know, all that brown sugar. Brown sugar is a baby. I'm gonna put my music back on. I got tired of me stopping and recording because I kept in all the music, so I just stopped it all together. So I was done in here. My grease is about hot. Let's see if this grease is hot enough. Mm -mm. This is going too much for me. Sorry, too. I'm going to show you. If it ain't this way too much, you see that? The chicken, they should be sitting in grease, but it's starting to get there now. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. But you don't want it to just be sitting in grease and it's not crying. Like the little boiling look. Yeah. You want it to kind of be hot all over. But since it's getting there, I'm going to sit it in there. It's not like it's not hot. Like it's warm grease. And it has to get hot all over this pan. It's probably hot in the middle since it's right on the eye, but not hot around the sides, you know. I might put these first. I try to remember which ones I put in first. Sometimes I don't get it right. smoke was coming out my mouth on the first piece I tasted it was a drum. Mmm. Mm. Hot. Just do the limo door. Ooh. 
I just told my baby, well, my seven-year-old Sole, a good way to know it's done, if you have enough grease in there, it's floating. When you start floating, that's how you know it's done. But I still cook mine a little bit longer because I like mine fried hard. But I am about to turn this eye off. And then once it quiet down, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Really, Grease? You're going to pop me in my forehead after I'm giving you a compliment about you floating? Anyway, um, these are the eggs from my deviled egg. It's not boiling because I got this big pot on a small eye. Um, I only have one big eye burner. If y'all don't know what eye is, that's what we say in the South, in Florida. Um, and I got three small burners. But the water is still hot. So even if it's not boiling, the eggs will still cook in this hot water. Okay, of course, I switched it over to the big eye once I got done with my chicken. And I'm about to pour this out, run some cold water over it. Cold as it can get. And I gotta rinse it a little bit because the eggs are hot. So if the eggs are hot and put cold water in here, then the water's gonna turn hot or warm. Gotta pour it out again. See if I can get this water cold. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me turn the flash on. There's like a layer of skin on the egg. If you can get that, the shell off with that skin, you're good. You see that right there? Or what I be saying, calling membrane. You can get that off, your egg will peel so easy. Okay? But if they ugly, I'm still eating them. And I try to peel them under the running water too. Don't know if I could do it with one hand, but we're gonna find out. break the egg right there. I better blow it down. There you go. Perfecto. <laughs> Perfecto. There you go again. Coming off so easy. The little skin on the egg. Cause that's how you tear up the egg. If you ain't got that skin. I'm going to show you how to do the next one. Fill it with the side of your thumb. Like you're scraping. Yeah, it's going to stick a little bit, but it's good. Under the water, preferably. Or under that. Okay, you can drop the shell in there and start it in. I'm going to show you something. Where's the cut? <laughs> no, I don't even see it, but I heard it. Come on. Is that egg magic? Oh. oh, there it goes. Do a little bit at a time. Now, you see that little skin? That's mm -hmm. the piece you want to get. Once you get that skin, your egg will feel perfect. And you won't tear it up. Sometimes that skin is stuck on the inside of the shell. And sometimes it's right there visible. You can keep feeling that, it should come right up. But it's easier to do it under the running water. Not too fast, so you'll tear it up. Don't get too spotty now. <laughs> like two daddy used to say. Don't get too spotty now. Oh, that means like you're excited? Excited, or basically thanking you all that. <laughs> Good job. All right. All right.
Oh, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. I'm working on my eggs. But I mean, I'm going to help you cook the other eggs. You don't cook them. You just mix them. You mix them up the yolk and mayo. So, okay, so that's it. I'll go ahead and run and get the mixture ready. And I'll cut the ones in half that you already got peeled. Okay, I got my spaghetti stained bowl and ashy eczema bowl. And I got my made mustard <laughs> and my Hellman's mayo. That's one thing I have to have is Hellman's mayo. But I don't care what kind of mustard. I always told y'all that. And um, but I'm not going to put that in there yet. I need a knife. And I'm going to cut this in half. This egg right here and get the yolk out of it. Okay, so now I'm about to squeeze this yolk. She hit my baby on the forehead with that egg and cracked it. So I don't beat her up. Sometimes I break the um, egg white doing this. So, but again, if they're ugly, we're still gonna eat them. Egg is so perfect. Mm-hmm. Like me. Oh, God, forgive me, please don't strike me. Only you are perfect, Lord. Okay, and we're going to do that with every single egg. Oh, I try. Uh, this one I cut. Look at that. <laughs> I probably didn't cut it evenly straight down the middle. But that is okay. I think I always use one of these stock flour plates every time I make double eggs. I just noticed it. I think I did. Ooh, you heard that mayonnaise bottle? Um, Lonnie, can you give me a little spoon? Because I don't want to squeeze these too hard and break them. Squeeze it. You don't have to squeeze it as much, but it gives me a little issue. Okay, cut that egg right there in half. Move back, sorry. Um, No, cut it the other way, the long way. Because y'all get on me about this. I'm supposed to cut them that way. Watch your finger. And I always cut them horizontally. So there's going to be one that's right. I literally just thought about that. My bad, y'all. Don't peel it. Just squeeze it a little bit over the bowl. There you go. And I cut them all horizontally. So that's why they look small, y'all. But it's the same portion, the same quantity. It doesn't make them more or less. How you cut them, the same amount of egg is in there. <laughs> Yeah, it breaks like that. It's okay. So now this is when I'm about to put my Lonnie, come give me this um sea salt, please. I'm shaking my mustard. Open this, please. Thank you. That was quite easy. It was easy. Did you use your nail? I did use my nail. Don't you use your nail? nail? I do your nail for free. What you say, Sarai? Your nail, Sarai? Yeah. What is it? The say. nail. <laughs> she said it's so perfect. Say, you nail. Your nail. Your nail. <laughs> your nail. Yes, thank you. Oh, okay, That's before he was right here, but... He got spicy and you would hit him. Oh, Lord. I'm going to take this off because I need my mayo in there. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Did she already put the salt on there or did she just give it to me? Oh, wait. I think I see specks of sea salt. Yeah. Oh, shit. I almost forgot about my chicken, y'all. It looks kind of perfect, but I'm going to have to. Bless you, girl. Dang. You're welcome. I'm going to have to boil this for a couple minutes. Okay, so I'm going to switch my oven to broil, and um, even though I don't look like I need it, and then I'm going to put a little bit of, um, bless you, I'm going to put up some barbecue sauce on it real quick, and then I'm going to put it to broil. See, I don't even know I be having stuff, y'all. I got a brand new thing of Dutes Mayo in here. I probably got it from my bottom. Didn't even know. So, this will be my first time trying Dukes. It's a little bit of Hillman's in there, but... First time trying Duke's real mayo. We'll see how real it is. Ah! Okay. I put it in there. I tasted the little lid that I peeled off. It don't taste too bad. It don't taste too much different from helmet. 
So I gotta break this yolk up and then mix it all up. Just want to taste your little mixture. See if you need more salt. I'm getting a different finger. Mm, it's too mustardy, not mustardy, mustardy. I don't know. I'm gonna add some more meal, and I already know. Put it up and still got the mustard. At. So I can't do it with one hand, but I'm gonna, like I did that one, just put them back all in these egg whites. My mixture, and I never care about getting all the lumps out. That's fine with me. I ain't gonna need no blender and all that. They gonna taste the same. These about the messiest devil eggs I ever made. Like, I just, I couldn't get everything right. But we'll be all right. So, are you ready for the bowl? Yes. Yes. Yay. You to lick the bowl. There you go. Yes, so go. Yes. Paprika, done. I don't do all the extra stuff like how y'all do with the relish and... Mm -mm. I don't even really care for relish. But of course, I've eaten it when I've gotten deviled eggs at events or parties. But this is all I do. And trust me, th these about to be gone. I wish I had more eggs because these are about to be gone. I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and put them in the fridge and get back on my chicken. All right, this is what we're using right here. And I've already poured some in a little container. I got my brush right here, and we're going to brush some um, barbecue sauce on the chicken. You don't need a lot in little. Wipe it all over. I'm trying to do this with one hand, y'all, so don't judge me. I'll be back once I can do it correctly. Once it's coated, I'll be back. All right, I am done. That's all I had left, so I need to switch it to broil. I didn't even do that yet. Y'all don't even understand. I'm struggling to find the broil sign because all my numbers are off. And I never use broil. That's the oven. So where would broil be? It'll be the first one to the right? No, because I can't turn it to the right. So first one to the left or what? What you say, Lonnie? All the way? Mm-hmm. That's broil. How you know? Because I remember. Let me see. And it's so stained because it's so old. Trust me, I wiped this off. Don't talk about me. Oh, my God. Lonnie was right. Okay. So, I'm going to broil this for like two minutes because you don't want it to burn. Okay. Yeah, you hear it sizzling. See, it'll burn quick. Got to turn it off. And that's what you call barbecue oven baked chicken. The rain thought they was going to stop me from barbecuing. Girl, bye. Okay, let me take this out and, um, yeah, let's get it popping. I made my macaroni and cheese yesterday, so that's why y'all didn't see me making that. But, um, see, you can see some of the barbecue sauce right there. And some of it probably has cooked into the chicken, but I still got a little bit in the bottom. So if they want to add some, once it cool down, then we can do that too. I hope y'all are having a nice 4th of July, darlings. Okay, so this is going to be a first. I've never seen Kingsford baked beans. My old man went to Dollar Tree. Um, I guess a lot of stuff closing early, but I didn't want him to go all the way to a Dollar General because it's too far from where we live. But I'm like, okay, brown sugar, molasses. Get the molasses out your ass. <laughs> I bet he didn't even think of that. One of his favorite parts on the color purple from the pappy, um, Mr. Daddy. But we are gonna try to see what it do. I'm always <clears throat> a Bushes fan, Bushes baked beans. Oh Lord, I hope they ain't nasty. Have y'all ever had these? Hmm? I never seen these before. Oh, you saying about the baked beans? But look, you see what it say? Brown sugar molasses. Take the molasses out your ass. You thought about it? Well, you seen that or no? Okay. Got my little vanilla in there, my sugar, my butter. We're going to see if we can make it do what it do with these Dollar Tree baked beans. But it was last minute I asked him to 
bring some and I cannot add cinnamon because my son is allergic to cinnamon. Okay, let these sit in the oven for a little bit. Basically, you just heat and can beans up. 